Joe Star Group warns of liquidation. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee because, well, we've got another builder. And this one, well, it's a little different. They're sending a warning email out to people saying that there's an impending liquidation coming. I don't know what's worse, finding out about it early or late. So let's, uh, let's check this one out. Melbourne Builder sends email warning customers of upcoming liquidation. When Jen checked her emails last week, checked them last week, once a week, yeah, sure. <laughs> One unread message from her builder waiting in her inbox. She opened it with dread and her worst fears were realized. So, she hadn't heard from the builder for weeks, despite multiple calls and emails, leaving her with no explanation on why the build on her four-bedroom, two-bathroom home had been stalled for months. As she read the email sent on Saturday from residential company Joe Star Group, it confirmed the Victorian homeowner's worst fears. The harsh reality is on the 2nd of August, we will be put into liquidation, Joe Star Group wrote. Let's jump over here and have a look at their website and... Once again, it's a similar story, a residential builder with no eaves. Oh, yeah, they're tacking them on there. You know what I mean. Um, uh, okay, they don't have any double stories. What about single stories? Coming soon. What about acreage designs? What about facades? Where's... Okay, so they've got some... It's all pretty standard stuff, you know. There's nothing that different, really. You get a render from one to the other... I mean, that's a James Hardy product. What one would that be? I mean, it's all just the same stuff, really. There you go. I'm, I'm looking at the plants. I'm, I'm liking how they did that effect. <laughs> did they do that in Unreal? Maybe. Maybe. Looks nice. Anyway, let's jump back to this. So, we apologize for the inconvenience this will cause. There just isn't any way out. Melbourne-based Joe Star Group is due in the Victorian Supreme Court on August the 2nd, which is next Wednesday, after an excavation company called Sal um, Saliba Excavations initiated wind-up proceedings over an unpaid debt. The email had, has devastated customers like Jen and at least 30 other homeowners that news.com.au knows of. Well, that's the, they're not paying their money. They're not paying... When you get to the... You only do a wind-up order when someone hasn't paid you for a long time. It's soul-destroying, Jenna Healthcare Worker wrote. I haven't had a week off work. I've cried every single day. Oh, sorry, I've had a week off work. I've cried every single day. It's our dreams. We've done everything right. We're financially and mentally ruined. Oh, you'll, be, you'll recover. I mean, it's part of life. Shit happens. You've got to pick yourself up and deal with it. I know it's being in, in, in the moment. It's overwhelming. You think the world's coming to an end, you'll deal with it. It's not the end. This is the sixth building company this week revealed to be heading towards the chopping block amid industry-wide crisis. As I'm saying, it's the construction apocalypse. But also, end of financial year, isn't it? We all did our taxes. How many of these builders are looking at their GST bill coming up going, oh shit, we're screwed. We at Just I would like to apologize for the lack of communication of late. As I'm sure you may have heard, the latest challenges that have been thrust upon our little company. Due to the events of the last two years, cash flow problems, increased supply costs and shortages, it has made conducting business in a usual manner very difficult. But we've faced these challenges head on. We've had open dialogue with suppliers and traders, but but it was in vain. It seems as though there wasn't an, that this wasn't enough. And it put us in a position where we simply cannot continue. The decision was not on a whim. We've explored every option to avoid this situation. We at Joe Star Group, yep, this is, okay, we're reading this. Um, it's registered under the name Joe Star Homes Proprietary Limited, has been incorporated since 2008 and said on its website most of its builds are done in and around Melbourne. They've been contacted for comment. Jen and her partner Damien signed a 370 build, building contract with Joe Star Group in 2021. And nearly two years later, the home is still unfinished. We're currently paying 450 a week rent. That's not too bad. 
and also paying a $500,000 mortgage for this property we can't live in. It's financially destroying us, Jen said. The couple in their late 20s and early 30s, who are based near Geelong, live in a rental a five-minute drive from their building site. We don't like to drive past it. It's too upsetting. There's no end in sight. When the builder goes in, into liquidation on Wednesday, this will trigger insurance to kick in for the, their build. But the entire insurance process will take several more months. And for nine, financially, they're not sure they can hold on for that long. What has left them even more frustrated is the fact they recently paid one hundred and six, um, sorry, 126,000 invoice for the lockup stage of their build. Well, is, is it at lockup stage? Did they overpay? Did they overpay? That's the question. If it's at lockup stage and they're bitching and moaning about stuff inside and the little, you know, the little touches, then they should be okay. I mean, if push comes to the shove, you could live in a, one of the rooms and slowly get the rest fixed up, couldn't you? You could make do, rent a porta potty and use that, get a power pole to keep power going there and just toughen it out for a while. But if they've overpaid, that's, that's a, a risk they've taken on. Four days later, they warned them of the impending liquidation. They also visited the site and realized it was not complete. Oh, shit. There are no doors or cladding, according to the customers. There's no tap or stormwater drain and no sewage. This is why you need another party to do the inspection for you at these stages. Chuck 500 bucks a grand, two grand, at an inspector to go out there and confirm that the progress has been made, that it's a legitimate progress claim. How do we get more normies knowing these things? How do we get normal people knowing this? I, uh, we talk about it on YouTube, maybe? On TV? What? Do, do normies watch? It'd be Facebook, wouldn't it? Oh, shit. We'd have to be doing TikTok and Facebook things to teach people. Be Instagram. For all the wives and the girlfriends, it'd be Instagram, wouldn't it? That'd be it. You'd have to be talking building construction hints on Instagram. Do you, do you, oh, is that, what do you reckon, guys? Let me know if I should do that. It's arguably mean the worst experience of our lives, Damien told news.com.au. He added it was just so obvious they had no intention of starting our house within the time frame stipulated in the contract. Another customer who preferred to remain anonymous said the building site had not been touched since December last year. Yeah, because they're not paying their tradies. They're not paying their tradies. That's why someone went to wind them up. No one's going to go work for them. Everyone, the tradies are all talking to each other going, don't work for this mob. They're not paying on time. And then, you know, what will happen is they'll go, sure, I'll work for you. Pay me up front. That's what will happen. Trying to get responses to emails or phone calls has been impossible. This is an absolute nightmare for us all. But sadly, we know there are so many like us out there. Yet this is just, this whole thing has just been a complete and utter start. You know, it's a construction apocalypse. It's going to take a decade for all of this crap to work its way out of the construction industry. So far this year, more than a dozen builders have collapsed. This week alone, a number of construction firms, con Construct Homes were booked into, Cleave Homes, Avara Group, yes, Sydney uh, Allura Homes, and we've looked into that one. Uh, Prom Modco Residential, and then all of the rest of the gang that have gone under that we've spoken about many times. Let's have a bit of a chat about this one, guys. I feel sorry for these people. They should have gone out on site, would have, could have, should have. How do we get more people aware of their rights under these contracts? May, may I, maybe we've got to do Instagram videos. You know, Get out on site, check before you send the money that the work's actually been completed. Pay a builder, pay a, you know, a retired builder, a retired grumpy old bastard who doesn't give a shit anymore. They'd be them out, they'd be out there to get, hire them to check and make sure to do your, your inspection at these points. It'd be worth it, you know? One, one of the old guys that would have been a, a clerk of works back in the day. They've been a real, real, you want a grumpy pain in the ass guy because they'll, they'll tear it to shreds. Uh, what do you reckon, guys? This is, this is a daily thing now. Anyway, 
Check out HeiserBim or Heiser Does if you want to see other content I create. And thank you all for watching. If you're a fan of the channel and want to support us, you can financially on YouTube or Patreon using our referral links, buying our pocket squares or other merch, or calling us if you need an architect. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Oh, wait. I've got to adjust. I've got to adjust that outro. Paint. Wait, 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 wait. We'll do it live. Oop. Wait a minute. Is it there? Come on. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look, look at that. Hey, I just figured out how to make transparent blocks in my uh, video capturing software, well, live streaming software. So I'm really happy with that. Guys, I'm showing it off. Thanks to all the patrons. Take care.